G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I have a real treat for you. This is something I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. This is a beautiful paint shop. This is called Union Heights in Chapel Street in Melbourne. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and as you can see, this beautiful wall of colour behind me is what I'm going to take from with me over to, uh, to what's the name of that? I always forget the name of that. How is you like? Thank you. Now, before we dive into it, those of you who have seen this format before know that this is a VR 180 video. But those of you who don't know, that means that if you're on a phone or any device with gyroscopicry, if that's a word, you can look up and down and around. But the best part about it is if you have an Oculus Go, a Google Daydream, PSVR, you can go into YouTube VR and be here in this space. It's actually really cool. So I recommend you try it out. Anyways, the reason I haven't jumped into this activity before is because I haven't had any guidance and I'm a little bit scared. So I brought a friend along. Ashley, come on over here. This is Ashley, professional street artist. So go check out Ashley's work if you want to see more of his amazing artwork. KIL Productions on Instagram. I'll put the tag on the screen there. Go follow the this guy super talented. I forgot to introduce Frank by the way. Frank owns Union Heights. Uh, if you're interested obviously in some awesome paint supplies, it's here in Melbourne. So if you're looking for the paint, come along. Uh, what would you recommend for, for skin tones? Uh, you get, uh, funnily enough, there's a color called Skin. Hair is sort of like a sand, sandy blonde, I think. Don't you? Yeah. You'll also need your outline color. Yep. Being uh, black black. Yep. And also uh, white white. Two very important things. I think we need to touch on. One is nibs. Mm -hmm. Why does that feel dirty to say? <laughs> the accounts that you've got here have yeah. got a, a high flowing um, fat cap on them. Yeah. So you won't need anything for the colouring in and the fill part of it. So we just uh, we just take this off. Is that right? Just, yep, just oh. pull it off. And you just pop this on. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So we got the green. So we got the green, uh, which is the line. This is fill. Well, I did say there were two very important things, and I think the next one and the last one is the most important thing, and that is looking the part. I'm gonna have to get some merch. <sighs> All right. Did you like the spin? That was very fast. Thank you. <laughs> which which lends me more street cred? I might need your help, Frank. This one, I believe you you wear it a bit. To, oh, jeez, I have a big head. Straight in front. Is it? In front, yeah. It keeps changing. It used to be this. Uh, if you, yeah. Depends a on while, how young you are. A while back, back when I was a young lad. I think it, I think it generally spins around the older you get. Does it? Yeah. I think we're ready. You're ready. Let's go. You just grab it. All right. Let's go. All right. Hey, you gonna pay for that? And off we went to Hosier Lane, one of Melbourne's top tourist destinations and known around the world in art circles for its eclectic and ever-changing collection of street artworks. Ashley has worked here on many occasions and was kind enough to come with me to teach me a thing or two. In fact, he was actually here just the day before when he created this piece. Ashley, a bloody legend. Now, a few things to cover before jumping right into our street art activity, specifically the legalities. Now, this will be different for different cities and streets in general, but for Melbourne artists, you'll need a permit and written permission from the owner of the building you're working on. And we've got both of these things covered. We got permission to paint on the top of Hosier Lane on the side of a great fancy schmancy menswear shop called Mason's. And if you're ever on the corner of Flinders and Hosier Lane in Melbourne and you're looking for a fancy outfit, go check it out. And a big thank you to Mason's for giving us permission to grace their wall with our art. The only other thing to mention is the etiquette when it comes to painting over someone else's art. In general, street artists expect it to happen. But if you're going to take someone's place, make sure it's done with a fair enough effort in your own art to justify it. It also helps to know who the artist is and to give them a quick heads up, which we did before taking the spot for ourselves. Okay, so we're about ready to get started and uh, we've actually done some roughing in with crayon. I say we've, mostly Ashley. What are the steps? How do we do this? Five steps to doing a graffiti piece, right? First step is roughing it in, which we've kind of done with the crayon, yeah. but I'm also going to do it with aerosol paint just so you can see the line work. Yeah, yeah, and this is the default nozzle, yeah? Yeah, this is just a beige dot just to get the lines. So you want to go across here and down and right. follow this. See these line here? All right, so you're going way too fast and too far away. So too you want to slow it down, yeah. 
and just use it like a pencil. All so right, so you're like hugging it. Close, nice and close. All right. That's one of the things a lot of graffiti writers like is that feeling of flow. Yeah. So this side here, coming out here and cooking around and going right up there to form the top of the A. So, so does that butt out? Yeah, a little bit. So it's coming down, around, and right up to the top there. All right, this is the big one. Yep, try and stay on. Yeah, nice. That was that? Was that good? Yeah, got it. Yes. So that's the that's So that's the step one, which so is step your roughing, right? So step Easy. two, fill. You okay. fill the J. Yep. I'm just gonna use the variations of the orange, because okay. we've got like three different variations of it. Now being this a um, acrylic paint, it's got exceptional coverage. You'll notice it's going orange, the light colours going over the black really well. Yep. If you want to have a go at doing the A, grab a different colour. I'd grab that real burnt orange, yeah, that one. While you're doing the A, I'll do the th second Z, the second Z, because that's this colour anyway, right? right. Hey okay, Kay, how'd you go? How did I go? Nice. Yeah, nice? Great, right, great. Right. Just a little bit thin here, yep. but otherwise good. Yep, all right, so do that Z, that second Z in yep. the yellow. Do the middle one in the yellow, yep. So that's step two. That's, that's step, step two. two. So done. we've done the outline, we've done the fill. fill. And now we do step three. Yeah, so step three is your background. Yeah. I like to put a background line on now yeah. because it just makes it easier for me to outline it. So in holding it on an angle close to the wall, you get a really cool gradient effect. It's awesome. All right. So that's step So that's three, Ooh, step three, yeah, step three. Okay. So four is outline. And this is where we can start doing some details and some 3D effects and some cool stuff. And I'm gonna trace this line here. Woo! <laughs> right. It makes such a huge difference though, doesn't it? This is when it starts to pop, so yeah. to speak. If your body mirror A comes through here, I'll just run a line out of here. Yeah. You can see where the two join. Oh, that's great. So we're going to do this some, some cool highlight effects. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. The idea is to try and leave yes. a bit of a gap between yeah. the outlines. It's kind of hard, but give it a go. So I'll just do this bottom one? Yeah, so see if you can get a line, right. say from here, yeah. up to about there. Right. Yeah, nice. That's it. Yep. And just for, put a dot. Nice. That's it. Don't overwork it, because you'll just end up with spatter everywhere. And remember when I said step five was highlights and details? Yep. The details would be just little dusting of white just to give it a bit of brightness. Yep. And you might want to do things like, this is called a pullback. So spray here and pull back. Hey. You get that misted effect. See, I like them on the middle of highlights. Can I do one? So probably right here. Yep. So spray and pull back. That's it. It's really come together, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And just for a bit of effect, I'll run some of this white on the background. All right, so we're done? We're done. We're done. We're done. We've done the, the, the word. Okay, so now I'm a master. Easy, right? Yeah. Let's divide and conquer, <laughs> right? I'm gonna try the character, which you told me is very hard. Yep. Char characters are harder than words. Character, but it's the same formula, so yep. you're gonna- so you Outlines, it in, fill. Fill it, outline, and then do your cutbacks and cleanups. Figure it out, it'll be You'll fine. figure it out. <laughs> And then you're going to do a piece over there. I'm going to do one here. Let's do it. Thank you for my training. No worries. Hopefully I'm ready to You're graduate. a good student. <laughs> <laughs> really? You are. Oh, line, thank you. you line straight up. So oh, that's good. you're a legend, man. No worries. All right, let's rock it.
There we go. Well done. Well done. That was exhausting. How are you feeling? Hot, bothered. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't thank you enough for your help, man. We've both done a, uh, a word and a character. I had help. <laughs> so, and are you Berserker or is that just Berserk, like yeah, that's Berserk. my tag, so to speak. Yeah. Awesome, very cool. There we got our credit down there, at Hill Productions. Go to Instagram, follow this man, check out his stuff. This wouldn't have been possible without our friend here. Pleasure. Ashley is a talented man with lots of work coming up and awesome stuff for you to go check out. And of course he does commissions. So if you're in Melbourne area and you're interested, go chat to him and uh, see what you can work out together. Thank you so much. This Thank is, you. This has been amazing. Absolute pleasure. You're a friggin' legend. Dude. No worries at this all. Was so, I learned so much. This is addictive. I want to do more. Like you, sure you really zone out and just get into it. Make sure to like this video, guys, if you enjoyed it. Unsubscribe to Joy Jazz for more fun with art and creativity. Something different every week, and I've never done this before. Might do it again, and uh, next week we might do something I've never done before as well. Most likely, probably. Thanks for watching. Thanks for having me. And until next time, we'll see you later. No worries. They're just cuddling a lot. Let's just cuddle. It's the paint fumes. <laughs>